Chris, thanks. Lafayette Parish School Superintendent Dr. Pat Cooper says teachers in Baton Rouge today caused a, quote, fiasco. In a parish-by-parish -parish look at teachers who were at that rally, Lafayette Parish came in with the most, with almost 200 teachers protesting. Iberia Parish is next with 19. Vermillion Parish had teachers absent from school today, and Acadia Parish had two teachers out. We reached out to St. Landry Parish. Officials there could not give us a number, and St. Martin Parish is on spring break this week. Of those, Lafayette Parish was hardest hit. KTC's Akeem Ashford tonight finds out where all this left students. I just think that as much as they stand up at board meetings and say we need more face time with our students, we need to do this and that for our students, what we have here is a fiasco at Lafayette High. Superintendent Pat Cooper is upset. Without enough substitute teachers, more than 300 Lafayette High School students are just sitting in the gym. I went to first hour and my teacher wasn't there. And all my other hours they weren't there. She, like other students, called home. As long as she didn't have any tests or wasn't missing anything important, I mean, if they're not going to be here, I don't see why she should be. Preparing for the rally, Principal Dr. Patrick Leonard says he made substitute slots available on Monday. He says he thinks they didn't have enough substitutes because some subs don't like to teach at the high school level and have the choice to sub elsewhere. The protests in Baton Rouge caused an even bigger problem. We had to move our uh, end of course testing back, so yes, uh, it has affected the educational arena. Cooper blames teachers for lack of judgment. Well, I think what we're faced with today is, is, is really disappointing because one of the things that, that we, we know is the teachers need to have a voice, but they have paid people in LAE to, to go do this for them. In Lafayette, Akeem Ashford, KTC, TV3.